What's up, guys and gals? Do my microphone, right? Guys and gals. Do my microphone, right? Do I have things wrong? Get over here. So, uh, if just tuning in, we are going to play Visage. We uh, There's one more chapter left, and I... I couldn't help but look up just the, the name of the chapter. I promise I didn't look up anything else. Only the name. Um, and the name of the chapter is apparently Lucy. So that is what we're going to be doing. Lord, nothing wants to behave today. Charging cord. So I can uh, check out live chat. All right. Open up some of this boob tubes. Also, you know, I don't like to start right away as soon as I do the stream because I feel like, uh, you know, some of you guys want to start from the beginning and it'd be nice if you could actually start from the beginning. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait a little bit. Some people get in here and then we're going to get started. All right. And hopping in chat now. Somebody told me Merry Christmas. Like, it's just like 10 hours ago. I had like a Christmas special. I guess I just saw the Christmas special. Pretty sure it was you, David. I know it was you. Don't lie. All right. <clears throat> so, let me go ahead and send out some little, little do janks real quick so we can get some people in here. And, uh,. No, no, that's not what I want to click. Don't click on that. It's wrong. All right. I know I say that a lot, don't I? All right. Just put that on a shirt with my face. My big old face on there with a cheesy beard. And just, all right. Come on, Facebook. Do some janks. We got to share this on Facebook, too. Share. Cop a loppy. Got a couple groups on Facebook I share things to, you know. I don't know if anybody actually wants to join me for my stuff, but um, I do indeed have those groups going. I'm also, uh, David was talking about uh, earlier, he wanted me to set up a Discord. I actually do have a Discord. Um, I just need to get it set up. Um, it's not set up at the moment. I'll, it just has my name on it, and that's about it, and like the default channels, and there's really nothing else going on there. Dink, 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 dink. All right, share away. Ooh, that's bright. Why is that so bright? All right, one last little t thing to do here. Do I hope you guys are ready, because uh, I have a feeling this Lucy chapter is going to be super scary. And, uh... I don't more scary to me than adults, um, you know, especially because, like, when they're ghosts or whatever. Like, like you, you adults tend to have more like thought out reactions. They're not so much like instinctual and, and like rage based, you know. Like, like you kind of expect an adult to have some form of reason, but um, a ch child, children tend to be more reactionary. You know, they tend to scream and and do crazy things and like just. Uh, ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. And so they tend to be more scary, to me anyway, personally. Um, I want to adjust some things real quick here. 
Can I... Tell me I have a lot of dropped frames. Maybe I got something running in the background here. Mm, settings, output. Where's the um Hey, what's up, Devin? And the Blaze Dragon. <laughs> well, you know, in in Walking Dead, Walking Dead is an interesting um, topic, and I was thinking about that the other day. So, in Walking Dead, you have adults who live their entire life in a civilized world who are now thrown into an uncivilized world. So, their world has been turned upside down. Whereas the children, the ones that grew up in the in the, the zombie apocalypse, to them, this is life. You know, they, their life wasn't civilized. Their life has always been uncivilized. And so to them, you know, they, they grew up in this world and they're, they're part of it. The adults in The Walking Dead are not part of that world. You know, they, they, are, they are individuals who lived life by rules and reason. And, you know, and, and, and then all of a sudden they were just thrust into this like wild wild west every man for himself kind of a thing you know what i mean and that that's the scariest part about walking dead is that the children do grow up to be used to it they're like oh there's a zombie eh, you know no big deal you know follow the right little procedures and we'll be we'll be all right you know that's why carl was um he was he was getting really scary because Carl was like super okay with the whole zombie apocalypse thing. He was just like, eh, you know, zombies be zombies. You know, we do what we do. <laughs> Coral. Coral. I was trying to see if I could drop the frame rate because I'm losing a uh, picture. On the stream here, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to have a crappy stream, but for some reason, it's not letting me adjust the bit rate. That's okay. It's been working fine. Hey, Y'all just let me know if it's getting choppy or something. All right, I think I've waited long enough. We got like five people in here. Let's go ahead and hop in. At least uh, start loading. So, I, like I said, I couldn't help but look up the chapter names, and it says this is, there's th there's four chapters. There's chapter one, which is apparently Lucy. There's chapter two, which is Dolores. Chapter three is Raycon. So we've done Dolores and we've done Raycon, and then chapter four has no name. Um, I'm not sure if that's the end or if it's just something. I don't, I don't know. Um, I do know how to start Lucy's chapter. It's... Um, what is this? Why is there a doojanks there? I clicked it. it. Come on. Hey! Quit slamming doors! Take me some pills. Alright. So Lucy's um, chapter is up here. Quit turning off the lights too, you creepy monster. Huh. This is new. I don't remember there being splotches all over the place. Are there, are there more splotches? 
Where's the rest of these splotches? Anybody hiding in the shower? I always think there's somebody hiding in the shower up here. Like, every single time. And there's never anybody hiding up in the shower. And it's so disappointing. You guys are supposed to hide in the shower. And jump out at me. Okay, so uh, to start her chapter, we just need to go in that door. We're going to wait a minute here, because these black spots might be something. This house gives me anxiety every day. Like, I don't understand. Don't do that. It, it's, so, it's so badly made. Like, who makes a house like this with so many doors? And, and, and second off, who locks all the doors? Like, when I first got here, I had to find, like, a key for every door in the house. Like, and you notice something else about these doors? So normally, all right, normally when a door is hung, the outside of the door, at least on the inside of houses, not on the outside of houses, the hinges are generally on the outside of the door. And this is so that if for some reason the door is stuck, the hinges can be easily accessed and you can pop the door open. But for some reason, none of the hinges on any of the doors are accessible. Almost like somebody wanted to keep people locked in. That was a necessary ghost. You didn't have to slam that door. I was already shutting it. I think that was very rude. Okay. Will you... Yeah, hold on. I'm going to see if I can play around with it for a second. Fix it. Hmm. OBS. Where are you at, OBS? Hmm. Okay, I think I have to stop the stream for a second, and I should be able to pick it right back up. Hopefully that works. Am I live again? Hopefully that works. Again. All right, there we go. Sweet. All right, I reduced the frame rate from 60 to 30. That'll hopefully that'll make. It. And are there any more dark spots? Like I'm trying to see if I can find some more of those dark spots around the house. I feel like they're important. But there's only the two that I've found so far. The one on the ceiling here. And the one on the wall. Let's check over here. See, there's this, um, it's a, uh, like a mirror mask or something like that. And the mirror mask is, um, these individual little things. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to complete it, but every time I've gotten one of the parts, it's been uh, part of like a VHS tape.
Hmm. Nah, I'm still having trouble with this stream. This is the first night I've ever had trouble with this. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Doom, 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 doom. I've brought it down, I think, as much as I can without it looking like terribleness. Hopefully that's good enough. I mean, we didn't, we checked here, we got this one, but we didn't check down in, um, in this area, we still got a lighter. Let's check here, any of them black spots around here? I haven't seen any black spots yet. Oh, there's one. Okay, so we found three so far. See, I almost feel like this is a little game of uh, hide and go seek, so to speak, where you gotta find all the black spots. The black darkness. Oh, there's one in the kitchen. Ooh. Uh, I'm kind of scared now. There's a lot of black spots. Like, what are they doing? Just like... Kind of sounded like that window was open. I could have sworn I checked the kitchen. Didn't I check the kitchen? I'm still kind of concerned at what this room is. I haven't been in there yet. Could be anything in there for all I know. I mean, did we check upstairs for black spots yet? I don't think we checked upstairs. Let's go check upstairs. Thought I saw a lighter. Man, I tell you, the lighters aren't really that super useful, but when you're in the dark, like all by yourself, they become a lot more useful. I mean, they don't keep your sanity from going down, which sucks. But um, you definitely need them to, uh, to be able to see what you're doing, at the very least. Which is kind of important. So I think the only room we didn't check was the bedroom. Ooh, oh, uh, okay. I forgot that was there. Yeah, how would you feel just having a, a attic access just in your room? Mm. With it open, you know. Just squirrels and raccoons running around in here. Whatever they please. Who doesn't like a good squirrel or two or three? Hmm. All right, well, I think I'm going to give up on the black spots for now. Um, I don't know. Uh, that might be something we'll have to do later. For now, though, we are going to start Lucy's story. 
Away we go. You found a drawing of a panda. Lucy's chapter. An insidious friend. Oh lord, she got an imaginary friend? No, 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 no. You know what? You the creepy one, okay? You are creepy. You're very creepy. I don't care what nobody says. That's a creepy doll. Um, Lucy, I just won't be friends, okay? I just won't be your friend. Please don't eat me. You got the ladybug? It's a very weird looking ladybug. What's in your creepy closet, Lucy? You got something in your creepy closet? Mr. Cat? A, a bear? A wooden bunny rabbit? A whole bunch of teddy bears and some little dance shoes. Yeah. Sarah and Dad. Yo. No, 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 no. You, dude, man, the closet starts opening all creepy like that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm out the room, yo. Man, y'all got me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure that I need to actually go check and see what's in the closet. Uh, please don't be a monster. How about that? How about how about you don't be a monster in the closet? Oh. oh. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, says the creepy dark monster in the closet. Oh, Lord, and I just heard a knock. Um, Creepy monster, hello? It's jammed. Okay. Um, that's jam too. Can we turn on a light in here, please? Oh, great. The monster is knocking back. Um, yo, creepy monster. Um, And I got an access to my attic. Just open up. Hello, Valentino. What's up, man? Did you see that creepy closet open up? That thing won't... That, that's not... That was... No. That was a whole lot of nope. Okay. Um. Hello, Mr. Teddy Bear. What's up, Mr. Bear? Yo, yo. What was that? Don't look. Get some pills. I'm taking some pills. That's it. Man, y'all stop making these light flicker. Okay. Me go slow to make lights flicker. Man, they really be creeping you out with, like, footsteps and stuff. You just be walking, and they add in extra footsteps. And, like, they just, like, you be like, you know, you just be like, stomp, 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 stomp. And then it's, then you stop, right? And then they throw in, like, some extra footsteps, and it's like, stomp, stomp, stomp. And you're like, whoa, whoa, I didn't, I didn't make them footsteps. You hear them footsteps? See? That won't me. Lucy. Creepy dog. What's up, frog? What's up, frog of Miss Prime?
So I knocked on the, the wall and somebody knocked back. Already creepy. Then there's footsteps and music. There's some sort of like, I don't know, it's almost like a little kid's music, I guess. Man, they got me with that, that door, though. I ain't gonna lie. Dead to rights. Boy, if I was in my room and that closet door just started opening up real slow like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Look, I'm a, I'm adventurous, yeah, but you know, I still ain't. I still don't want to go in there. <laughs> What's down there? What you got? Why is the TV on? Well, hold up. I'm coming down there. Y'all better not be watching no bad movies. Y'all better not be watching like like some uh some horror movies late at night. You know, y'all gonna have nightmares. Y'all can't be watching them horror horror movies. Y'all not even gonna lie, when I was a kid, like 13, 14, 12 ish. Oh, come on now, don't do that. I did not turn that off. Um I, I hated my closet, man. My closet was scary. And the door would just open on its own every now and then. And it's probably a ghost for all I know. Oh, look. It's a camera. There's the... Alright, so there's the um the phonograph. The light is flickering in the laundry room. Or the like the downstairs laundry Oh, no, that's where the freezer is. And it looks like there's a little girl there. Okay, let's go meet Lucy. Anyway, I used to actually tie my uh, the door of my closet shut because that thing would always open up, and it was it was the scariest, it's the creepiest crap. You'd be like dead sleep in the middle of the night, and the door would just open. And then eventually, I got uh, I got this cool like you know steel shield, like a real shield, and uh, um, it hung perfectly on both handles of the um, of the closet, and it kept it shut. So I just put that on there. It was really cool looking on the closet too. Lucy! I hear you, Lucy. Lucy. What's up, Lucy? Are you in here, Lucy? Okay, there was a camera on a timer. Your dynamic inventory is full. Alright, well first off, we're going to put one of these candles up here because I'm, I'm, I'm scared for my life. And then, no, still can't pick up the camera? Alright, well let's take some of these pills because we're going crazy. We're going to die. Let's go and take a bunch of them pills. Also, we'll drop the container because I'm sure it's empty. Alright, does that give us enough room? It does indeed. Alright. So, um. I see you down there, Lucy. Okay. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of your friend. That's what I'm scared of. Okay, I was a little bit scared when she started walking forward. I'm not gonna lie. What is that? A toothbrush? It's a candle. Lucy, come on, Lucy. You know, that's so dramatic. That is not a candle. That is a needle. Um, why did you drop a needle? I'm a little worried now. And why do I have a camera? Maybe it's the flash. Maybe I just need to, like, walk around, like... Flashing areas. God, it always... 
always sounds like there's something behind me. Like, can you imagine what it's like? Like, sounds like something's following you, like, all the time. Ooh, a new lighter. I'll take it. I'm assuming that if we use the camera in the right place, we'll see Lucy, or maybe we'll see the monster. I don't know which. Because there's two dynamics to this whole thing. There's... You know, there's Lucy, and apparently Lucy is dead, but also that Lucy had a best friend, an imaginary friend, a very scary imaginary friend, who's apparently still here. Oh, I saw something. Oh, so when you take a picture, there's a uh, there's a trail on the floor. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so let's see where this trail goes. It seems to turn the corner here. Oh no, it goes this way. It's hard to see. Like, it almost seems like it goes in here. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell which way it goes. It's only, You can only see it for a fraction of a second. Oh, it goes up the wall. Okay, I see it. The slow creeping doors. Don't, don't, don't. No, no, okay. Okay, what's in here? Hello! I would, I would like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, that's a heck no. Man, that is a whole heck no. Lucy and, and her friend. Well, look, he's smiling at least. Guys, guys. Guys and gals, guys and gals. He's smiling. There you go. He's so smiley. Yeah, I don't think this guy is very nice. I'm going to be honest with you. I think he's probably very mean. And I'm leaving. Actually, can I click on it? Ooh, what is that light? Okay. The door is red now. Hello? Hello? Okay, we're in the woods now. There's a little teddy bear. Hello, little teddy bear. How did you get here out in the rain, sir? You don't look like you're having a good time. Guilt, you say? Okay, well, let's go. Well, hello, you got the little bunny rabbit with you. This is a spooky forest. Spooky forest! <laughs> hey, look at that spooky tree. That's great, A spooky right there. And the little stuffed animals everywhere. Man, that's great, A spooky too. Yo, uh, 
Look at that panda over there. That's huge. Panda, what are you doing over here, buddy? That was a little creepy. Um, I'm walking away now, panda. It's not nice to treat your guests that way. Oh, it's a clubhouse. Okay. I'm Lucy. Hello, Lucy. I want to be your friend, Lucy. Playing with blocks with their friend. Lucy's mad. Um, what? They fought. They made up. She got a bird. Bird is gone. And she blamed it on her friend. Mother didn't believe her, I guess. Oh. What are the chances it would be on the first one that I turned around? Because I was sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, I can't let you pick these things up for no reason. And then, bam, E on the back. And why are eyeballs all over the place, though? Like... Oh, no. She drew a picture of injections. Oh, one of those little dollies. something out there. What's that? That's a whole lot right there. Man, y'all just no. Uh. Mm. Okay. Well, that happened. Why is it always so dark? <gasps> you stole the light box. That is so rude. All the light switches are missing! Lucy! Yo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. I don't know what's wrong with you, Lucy. But you're not looking. No, don't take my light bulb. That was a little. Oh, no, Lucy. Yo. See, that's what I'm telling you. The kid ones freak me out. Mm mm. Mm mm with that. Mm mm. 
But back right off, Lucy. Ain't got time. Man, she stole all the dang light switches off all the dang walls. There ain't a light switch in the house no more. Lucy! What do you want from me? I'm gonna take pictures of you. Yo, yo, no, Lucy, no! Why is your jaw missing? You just reach into my chest and rip my heart out? Like... That's a little much. I don't, I don't know what to think of that. That was a little... That was a whole lot. Okay, well... Man, she's scary. Look, there's all the light switches too, look. On the floor. They go in here. And they go up the stairs. Alright, and they go in here. Quit it. Gotta follow light switches. Yo. Yo, which way do the light switches go? I don't see. Jammed. Lucy ain't got time. I can't go. Man, back off, Lucy. I'm going mildly insane. I'm going mildly insane. No, Lucy. I can't go in there. It's jammed. Man, you can back right on off, Lucy. Ain't one time, I got time. Ain't got time for your shenanigans. Ain't got time, I got time. No! Yo! Look here, Lucy. You was back off. I got the hollow night now. I really did not know she was behind me. Like, I really did not. Man, Lucy, Lucy. Man, my mom's name is Lucy. Don't be ruining that name now.
the red door. Oh, um, okay. Into the red door we go. Losing my sanity. Well, there's the bird cage that has no bird in it. Or Ludus. Okay, there are many bird cages that don't have birds in them. Where are you hiding at, Lucy? drawers and stuff to look through. Man, that breathing though, like, can you, I don't know if you're actually here or not, or if you're just breathing at me just to be rude, but it's very rude. Just want to let you know. found a light. That was not something that I had even hoped to find in the darkness. I feel like this is just one big circle. Maybe. I mean, it might not be one big circle. I don't know. found anything in any of the drawers. I mean, I'm just kind of assuming that this is the door that I came in. I mean, this one's jammed, so yeah, I think that's the door that I came in. So it must be a big circle. In that case, let's just go ahead and run through. I can't see anything. Oh, hello, Lucy! So she wasn't here the whole time. Nice to know. No, Lucy! No, 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 no. Man, will you stop ripping out my heart? Yo, this Lucy chapter is a lot harder than some of the other ones. I don't know what to think. Just me dying a lot. That's, that's right. I don't think I died at all on the um, the Loris one until like the very very end, and then like the Rakan, the Raycon one, he was chasing me the whole time, and I I think he caught me like two or three times. I think Lucy's already beat both of them by miles. Okay, so we explored all of the um,
There she is. I'm kind of looking for the comic pages. Like, I haven't found many of the comic pages. I've only found one, actually. But I... I just don't want to die in here again. Yeah, let's just... Oh, you need the cage's room key. So I was looking... Um, correctly. Sort of. Yeah, you saw me. Look like there was a light over here. Oh, come on with this. There is like no light in this room. And if you need light, well, good luck. There's another lantern like right here. That light goes a whole four inches. I see you. I mean, she's not very fast. At the same time, like, dear lord, let me live. Maybe there's, I have a light bulb. Maybe there's some light bulb do jinx like above my head or something. Oh my god, there are so many cages. I'm glad I have this camera, because if I didn't have this camera, I'd have no, no light whatsoever. Uh, there's a lantern. Is she turning off my lights? I think she is turning off my lights. Because I swear I turn these lights on, and then she comes behind me, and then all of a sudden they're not on anymore. Ooh. No. Okay. No. I don't want none. What you're selling? What'd you get, babe? I'm just struggling to live here. What is it? Not going there. Who's my favorite old lady in the whole world? Uh, Golden Girls. But what's her pay? Uh, which one is your favorite? The Betty White. Betty White. <laughs> Save Betty White. Wear a mask. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, I need the key. The key I don't have. The key. Where do I find? Where do I find this key? Even if it was in one of these drawers, good luck on me finding it when I can't see anything. The light. So the lights do turn off on their own. Okay. I mean, I'm starting to memorize the layout, but what good is that going to do me when she's right behind me the whole dang time? Man, I cannot do this with the with the camera. Like the camera is just not 
it was not helpful at all, I swear. It, like, gives you enough light for, like, a half a second, and it's not even good light. It's, like, really bad light. Oh, an extra lighter. Please. Two extra lighters. Okay. I guess they were thinking. They're like, oh, maybe he might get here and his lighter might be almost out. And then he might need a lighter. For, you know, so perfectly honest. Lucy? Lucy? Let's, I don't know how you lost your jaw, Lucy. But, you know, I'm going to try and find it for you because that's the kind of man I am. And I'm going to return your jaw. And you better not bite me. Because that's important. You don't bite the man who returns your jaw. That would be rude. So rude. I'm going to close this door though, Lucy. Right? You stay in there, please. It's a lot of cages. Come and knock on my door. I got lots of cages. And Lucy's right behind me, gonna eat me. I'm not looking, Lucy. I am not looking. I'm shutting the door now, Lucy. I'm shutting the door. What did you do to this? Why is there a wooden bird in here? What is that? Hey, where did the doors go? Yo! I ain't got no respect for people to hurt animals. So. Lucy, we was okay. Okay, Lucy, we was okay. You killed that bird. That one, we not okay no more. I ain't. That was, that's, you're not, we're not okay. You don't be killing poor defenseless little animals like that. That bird didn't do nothing to you. And you're rude. Why does this look like a little miniature, um... Oh, can't look, look, camera, and then it has little lines to indicate that it's flashing. And then the, the, go, the ghost or the friend or whatever, and look, he's got X's on his eyes and he's a sad face. So that means he does not like it when you take pictures of him. He's very mad at the pictures. It did not like pictures. What is this? I'll take pictures of you all day, sir. I hope you like pictures, because you're going to get picturized. Well, this is dark. I see you there. That's 
sounds a bit much. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Did you, you still didn't give me my light switches back. Why are you do to my bathroom, Lord? What is that? A mannequin jaw. I mean, I'll take it. I don't. Man, will you stop with the yo? You done messed up my bathroom. Man, and you don't let me light my lighter. I can't even take pictures neither. Darkness haunts you. The following is written on the blackboard. Darkness haunts you. Yes, Lucy. I'm sorry about your jaw. Do you want your jaw back? Yo. That scared me more than her chasing me ever would. Yo, did you see that? She was standing there and she was like, you know, I was like, oh, is she going to chase me? Is she going to try and bite me or something? And then the imaginary friend or whatever you want to call him came up behind her and snatched her and just yanked her through the door. Yo. Yo. No, 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 no. See, now I feel sorry for Lucy again. Like, maybe that big monster made her kill the bird. I don't know. Whatever happened, it's not, it's not good. It's a whole lot of not good. You ain't put my bathroom back yet. Man, she still got all the dang light switches. I'm going mildly insane because I don't have any light source. She stole all my switches. It's not very nice. Not very nice. Hey, one of the little dollies. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, little dollies. Some fancy plates for when the, when the fancy people come over. <laughs> Dude, how was I supposed to know that was coming? Like, what do I gotta do? Like, take pictures of every corridor? He had the Freddy fingers, man. He had the Freddy Krueger fingers, yo. Man. Making me stress. Need some food to eat. Need some cheddar popcorn or something. Yo. Uh, let's go back down there. Alright, let's go. We, we ain't got time. We ain't gonna be scared. You ain't gonna scare me. Okay, well, you did scare me. But you ain't gonna scare me twice. You ain't gonna scare me thrice.
I found a strange frame. Ooh. I found me a candle. Well, there's no uh, light switches anywhere in the house, so the light bulb ain't going to do me no good. Might as well take the candles. Um, let's go ahead and eat some of these pills real quick, because there's another candle on the ground. Let's grab that. Alright. There's another lighter down there, too. Alright, so the camera he don't like. Um, hey, it's a VHS tape. Greed. Well, I still got all my tools here. I mean, I don't know if I need any of them yet, but... Any more picture frames, maybe? Or... Let's make this storage room a little safe haven, I guess. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. He's wandering around the house. He, the only way I can see him is with the camera. The, um. Like, I don't, I legit don't even know where to go. Like, I feel like. I feel like I'm kind of lost. He definitely seems to be in that one particular area. Like if I had to say he was anywhere, he's definitely like down in this area. I thought maybe the camera would like stop him from chasing me, but it doesn't seem to stop him from chasing me so much as it just seems to tell me he's coming. Does he really, really not want me to go in there or something? Like, I kind of feel like that's what it is. Which usually means that's where we have to go. So... Oh, no, 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 no. Nee, 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 nee. Nee, 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 nee. Nee, 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 nee. No, 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 nee, 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 nee. Nee, 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 nee. Man. Lord. He's still after me. Why am I going so slow? Man. Yo, so near as I can tell, 
like when I hear that noise and I see the lights flicker, he's coming, right? But what does it mean, though? Like I don't understand. I can't. I can't seem to stop him from coming after me. I don't know where I am supposed to go next. Let's uh, let's hit a save um, slot here in this room because we're down to one lighter and um, and he is just chasing us. And we don't really know where it is we're supposed to be going. Like, I feel like it's down here. In the like basement darkness I mean he seems to attack me every time I come down here and either he's attacking me because I'm going to the right place or the much more unlikely thing is, is he's attacking me because I'm going to the right place don't know. Okay, the secret seems to be three times. If I take his picture three times, he doesn't like it, and he does back off. But I don't know for how long. I mean, he basically just backs off. It's not always possible to get three shots on him, though. Like, oh, Lord, go insane again. If there's anything new in these drawers. Darkness haunts you. Okay, we saw this before, though. Let her go. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Okay, so... And then the door opens. So she steals, he steals Lucy. But where does he take Lucy to? Like, I don't... Maybe I need to go up in the attic. I don't, I don't know.
Dude. Uh, he didn't even make any noise. Like there was nothing. It, he he comes so fast. Like he attacks you, and then he you you chase him away or whatever with the the camera, and he attacks you again, like immediately. And he continually attacks you over and over again. <sighs> All right, do we got any pills left? Because I need to take some. Eight. All right, let's take a look at this real quick. I mean, I don't really know what it is. Tile, maybe? A back, a backboard? Some kind? Um, I mean, it's a painting. I, I don't know exactly what that's for. All right, let's see if we can rush to uh, the attic just get there as fast as we can. Um, there should be a stairwell right around the corner here. Alright, and then up, and then left. And then up. To the left. I mean, I have no idea if anything is in the attic. I really don't. But... Um, the way he came after me up here just makes me want to go check. Smiley face. I was there before. was also there before, and we got the window, and then that drops down into the bedroom. Um, Literally just right behind me. Okay, so we didn't do this. Like, uh, like every time we come into this room, it says darkness haunts you. Darkness haunts you, blah, blah, blah. We need to save it so we can make sure that we're, um, we're past this. Because I think this might be a tr one of the cutscenes that you're supposed to watch. To continue, and every time we, um... I, this this scene right here is the creepiest. I I can't stand um, him snatching her away like that. That it bothers me. You leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Alright, so let's do a quick save just to make sure that we're, we're completing this event. Because for some reason or another, when we die and come back, it's like we haven't completed that event. And it's, I don't know what's going on. We didn't... We didn't pick up the mannequin, y'all? That's another thing that I was like 100% certain that we did. Okay, so we've saved it. We have the mannequin jaw. We did the little event.
Trying to see if there's any, like, um, signifying event, so to speak. You know, like, oh, well, there's, I mean, like, these were on the floor last time, and that led me up to her room. Like, is there anything else? Hmm. Like, I don't see anything. And this one, this it, them not letting me use the lights is just freaking me out. Like, I really wish they would let me use the lights. I mean, they're being a little generous with the lighters, but I am down to one. Well, I got two lighters. Okay. Never mind. some candles in here. Oh, jank. Okay. Oh, look at all the light switches in a box. Alright, let's go ahead and save this right here. We got two lighters and a candle. Hopefully that will be helpful to us in some way, shape, or form. Got some propane tanks here. Let's burn them tanks. Oh, some pills. I'll take the pills. Oh, okay. Can I... Yo, with the creepy noises. Can I drop the compass for now? Like, I don't feel like I need the compass. For now. Hold on, let me go put the compass in the... Um... You know what? Screw it. If the compass is important, it'll show up in the storage room. If the compass is not important, it won't. Oh, good. I used up all the pills. All right, we got three lighters. Let's just keep our lighter on. Um, they got lighters everywhere now. So I said something, and now they got lighters all over the place.
Man, I'm taking this shit. You can back right on off. Taking a poop in the potty. Taking a dump on the... I didn't think he could open the doors. I really didn't think he could open the doors. Yo. Uh, look, Freddy Fingers. Man. Freddy Fingers himself. Man, these, these hints are not helpful. Okay, well, um, I, don't, I hope it loads my save, not the auto save. Because the auto save was like way back. It was way back. Going way back, back, back. Yeah, two with that is like way back. Can we not load that save? Can we load this save instead, please? You know, it's just going to take all my progress away. For what, for what reason exactly? Like I'm trying to work it out in my mind, and I feel like I've I've run all over the place, and I can't figure it out. Um, where I'm supposed to go? I mean, I went up to her room, and you know I did my thing there, and um, Man, you can screw right on off. Yo, I don't know if they're playing me, playing with me or what, but it sounded like he was coming from in front of me. And he came up from behind me, and I don't get it. Like, I really, really don't get it. And all them damn candles didn't do anything whatsoever. Except they make me feel slightly better up until I got stabbed in the back by Freddy Krueger there. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hold on a second here. I want to like work this out in my head here. So um So we got Visage and all right, now we're playing Lucy's thing. We got the the friend. Um, I don't know what to call him. I'm just calling him Freddy Fingers. Um, now the last cutscene that we got was Lucy standing there in the doorway, and then when Lucy, um, what's the term? When Lucy um, got snatched. So she got snatched by the guy, right? And... Like, I don't know. Like, I really don't. Like, I feel like we're pretty far in the, in the doojanks here. We've gone through the red door. Right? We found the key to the cage room. We found the mannequin, um... We still have the mannequin. Yeah, we still have the mannequin jaw. Um... I'm assuming that it's got to be something to do with the the mannequin jaw. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Um... Hi. I figured that was gonna happen because we were, we were, languishing, but that's okay. I needed I needed some time to think without him chasing me, even though he was still chasing me anyway. Um, so the mannequin is downstairs, but we were just down there and we couldn't get to the mannequin. Is there another mannequin? 
I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure there's only one mannequin. All right, so we're probably going to have to get by him because he's in that downstairs area. But if we, from where we are, all right, let's go as quick as we can. We go this way. And then we turn right. Uh, all right, that brings us here. You know, let's go ahead and put a candle right here just because. You know, uh, we're actually going mildly insane. Let's eat some pills. I feel like he's coming. Okay, well here's a torso. Let's try this one. It better not come up behind me. It says Dwayne and Claire, October 18th, 1973. They all say the same thing. Okay, and he just yanked me in too. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. This looks new. Oh, I think I know where I am. So, like, yeah. I think this is like her house, but like it's like the back side of her house. Like, like this is her closet, right? And, uh,. So whoever this is, this monster, he can travel like behind the walls. And this is like where he is behind the walls. That door came out into the um, into that closet. That closet up there, the one I was just looking in, seems to be Lucy's closet. Dude, don't do that to me. Yo, yo, yo. But you didn't want me in there or something? Ah, man. This this is probably the creepiest chapter yet. I don't um I don't know. This is the one I went in. Oh now the candle's burning. Okay. jammed what the hell is that all right let's go down the creepy dark hallway where we can't see anything because he won't let us use our lighter
am so confused. This place is creepy. No, I mean, I'll give it that. It is quite creepy. <laughs> Lucy! Yo, Lucy. I found you. Okay. Man, are you kidding me? Why would I want to turn the light off? Okay. Out of all the things I want to do. That's right. I know you don't like it. That's why I'm all to take a picture over and over again. Okay, there's scratch marks on the wall here. Man, that's like something Freddy would do. Yeah, I'll quit it. Man, uh, You can scare me with that. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, you're needed up in this house. There's cobwebs all over, and I think I just saw a mouse. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Shut doors on me. Man, if I gotta run from this dude, I don't like it. I don't want it. Man, you can't see nothing past these chests. Please stop breathing like that. Use a little bit of effort and breathe like a normal rat. Oh, he got me. So I don't, I don't. I was taking pictures of everything. I don't know how he got me. <laughs> you know what, Mister Ghost? I don't even know what to say about you. Okay, like first off, you don't let me use more lighters. Second off, you got all these dang wardrobes, and I, you don't even use them. What's inside this wardrobe? Nothing whole lot of nothing where you at come on you want some of this I got flashlights I got cameras oh jank I found a hole um, I see your shadow there, boy. I'm gonna rifle through your ghost drawers. Oh, man.
What room am I in? Well, there's the TV on the ceiling. I don't know what to make of none of this, and it's giving me vertigo. Like, literally, legit, if you look like right here, it looks like you're on the ceiling. And if you look like right here, again, looks like you're on the ceiling. Look, I heard the music, and I know it's bumping for a reason, which means you're coming. Where are you? Yo! That's my whole stomach that you stabbed there. And this guy is ruthless. He is just ruthless. Lucy. Ooh, okay. Um. Mm. That's quite a friend you got there, Lucy. That is quite a friend. Uh, let me just say this. I don't like your friend. I think your friend is a douche. I'm just going to go so far as to say it. I think he's a mean person. If he even is a person. Oh, that's dark. You know what? No, no, no. Dang it. I never know where I'm looking until I take the picture. Like, it's... It's just too dark. Like, if that was their goal, was to make it pitch black. I can't move it? Good. I hope you trip. Okay. And I'm back here. Let's go ahead and give this... Oh, we can't save it. Okay. I got photographic evidence of all this. Want you to know. Can we go in this room yet? I can't help but feel like I went all the way around in a circle. 
Well, otherwise, what was the point of going through all this? I mean, did I miss something? And this thing's got some good batteries. Gotta be something I missed. It's <sighs> the second time that's got me too. I swear. It's a good one. It's a really good one. When I came here the first time, um, I definitely He's coming for me. Don't do it. scared on I'm literally just like scared of a drawing on the wall
mean, that thing fell down the last time, too. How you, how's something like that going to fall down twice? I just don't know. I'm I'm uh I'm a little lost. This this chapter has got me on nerves. I've explored this whole area I think like twice now. The radio doesn't have anything but static. This room is the restart point, apparently, when you get caught by what's-his-face. Um, you can't save it in this area, which means it's like an active puzzle. That way doesn't lead me anywhere. This way just leads me back, which isn't necessarily where I wanted to go. I mean, this room right here... Did we really check this room? I don't know if we did. There's like this little... No, we didn't really check that room, but there's nothing really in it either. I'll tell you, the only light source being my flashlight is... I mean, a, fla a camera flash is just obnoxious. Maybe if I had figured this out faster... Why does that look like a drill bit? Doesn't that look like a drill bit or something? Oh! Apparently we can stand, or sit in this chair, and take pictures of panda bears? Hello, Mr. Panda! You did a good little pa- Hey! Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. I'm going to take a picture of you. You're going to get flashed. If you do it, you're going to get flashed. Heckin what? Beautiful lady. Please don't eat me, Mr. Monster. I'll be nice to you. Please don't eat me, Mr. Monster. I've got some stew. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, trying to get the monster not to eat me. Um. Oh, I turned it off the TV. You want to turn it back on? Alright, we triggered an event, which is a good thing. Let's see if this door over here at the end of the corridor is open. I mean, it's the one door we haven't gone into that's piqued my interest. Like, I feel like it's got to be something in there. But I just don't know what. That's JR Buttstinks, boys. Always singing.
singing his cat. Okay, I think I went the wrong way. Because I can't get to that room from here. What? Here, I, I don't understand where the last room is then. I, I feel like I'm lost. Of course, this whole area is confusing me. And that monster, Freddy, Freddy Fingers over here, is just... When he catches me, he stabs me in the stomach with, with his Freddy Krueger claws. Mm -hmm. That's not a baby, that's a cat. And he's got claws. He's got, he's got all the claws. Everybody's got, everybody's got gas. Yours sounds like a French horn. A whole French horn. Dumpster girl got gas too. I heard her fart. I mean, you should love her. She's your dumpster girl. I know. I really don't know then. I think I've searched everywhere. I mean, I've made minor progress in this area, but like you can't save it while you're in this area. So every time I die, Mr. Freddy Fingers is uh, not being nice to me. He's not nice. He's Freddy Fingers. Maybe I need to go back in the panda room. I don't. I mean, I sat down in the chair in the panda room. And something happens. There's nothing in the panda room. Like. I mean, there's that thing sticking out of the ground, but I don't know what that is. I mean, I guess the only room that I didn't really explore fully was the, the room with all the wardrobes, but the, the room with all the wardrobes didn't have anything in it, as far as I could tell. And then, um... I'll see you there. I see you there. I said I see you there. I mean, maybe it's something in this room. Um, something that I haven't quite explored. Wait, what's that? Hold on. I think we found something, maybe. Oh, okay. Creepy hole in the ground. Let's go down the hole to the. I don't wanna go into the hole. I don't wanna go into the hole. I don't wanna go. I don't want to go. Can I use my lighter now? Uh, creepy hole. Creepy hole. Creepy hole. A show of hands. If you had a creepy hole in your house like that, underneath of a rug. You go down, said creepy hole. No. The creepiest of holes. Oh, look, it's not a drawing of an eyeball. There's actually a gash. Yeah, reach your arm in there, you know. What did you just pull out of that eyeball? 
Um. Well, okay. Uh, I heard that uh, Alan is watching, and um, what's your mom's name? She not she not even pay attention to me. Alan and uh, Gina's mom. Hello. Hope you guys are ready to get your pants scared off of you, because this monster has got Freddy Krueger hands. What is this exactly? Can I just like yank it? Can I yank it? I can yank it. It's not letting me do the yanking. Hold on. Let me um Yeah, I know I should keep it with me. I can't use my lighter. I'm a, I'm a... Take me some pills though. Popping them pills. Um feel like I need to drag it with me or something or like push it or does any of these other eyeballs have any like things I can grab I don't know what to do it's I don't know what that is even like what is it like a it, it obviously has a handle. It was obviously pretty heavy, too, to like be able to yank it out of the wall. But it's not letting me interact with it in any way. Like... Hmm. What do I do with that? What do I do? Can I reach in the hole again? I mean, we got candles down here, so we have light. So, it's obvious... A place... It was the hole... Hidden under the floorboard thing. Um, the... Like... Shadow... Was... Sort of... Just standing over the hole so the shadow was there to tell us that something was there and then the corner of the carpet was there you know to like tell us to pull it which we didn't see originally and uh i mean it's something that you could easily miss and then this thing we come down here we pull this long bar out of the eyeball and unfortunately it doesn't seem like we can click on it or pick it up or anything and I, i'm so i i want to say that maybe it's bugged but I'm just really not sure hmm why would we pull that out if we weren't if we were to use it for something that doesn't that doesn't seem logical unless maybe it caused something to happen up here Let's go check, just to be sure. I didn't click on that. I didn't... I'm trying to take a picture with a camera to see if the dude is still there. The dude is not there anymore. Well, come on the green screen there, little lady. Just... Go like this and move it and then come around. That's what I do. Just don't knock it over. Hey, let's see. Hey, Mom, look at my mask. It says, Save Betty White, wear a mask. <laughs> That's my beautiful lady. <laughs> Turn up. Tearing everything up. All right. We got to figure out what this is for. It doesn't seem like anything changed up here, so that's probably not it. Oh, wait. Oh, well, no. Okay, that was just to go back down the steps. Mm 
Hmm. See, I have no idea what that bar is for. So we've got a giant metal bar in the basement. Eyeballs all over the wall. It's hidden sort of like underneath of a room which sort of resembles several rooms from inside of the um, the house, but they're kind of like all conglomerated together, right? So... Hmm. I really don't know. I mean, we got the um, the mannequin jaw. We, we undid the chair. We went into the room where the candle is. Um... I really don't know. We're kind of safe down here for the moment, so we got time to think. We went through the cage room. You know, it occurs it occurs to me um there's several items in the game that can only be picked up with two hands. Um, the sledgehammer can only be picked up and used with two hands. The crowbar can only be used with two hands. Maybe we need two hands. Okay, so let's drop... We haven't needed the compass in a while, so let's drop the compass. Um, I'm going to drop the compass, not the lighter. Alright, and so we have to put the items up. And then, can we pick it up now? We have two hands, free. Maybe we need more than two hands free. Um, let's drop one of the lighters. Okay. It's not letting us pick this up. What's the, the what's the point of pulling it out of the wall like that and being all dramatic if it's not something that we can pick up? Yeah, you know, when he chases us, the lights flicker. I mean, he, he starts to... He's creepy as all know what, too, because he sneaks up behind us and just stabs us in the back. Alright, well, it's not in here. We can't pick up the bar. We we dropped all the items. There's really nothing left to do but to leave. So, I, the only thing I can assume is that we're not supposed to grab that thing. And um, even though we've been everywhere in this area, maybe just simply pulling that bar out will have, will have unlocked something else in this zone so that hopefully we will not die horribly. Let's just let's just check around. I mean, maybe something has changed um, from from prior. Okay, so that's the same. Then this one leads here. There's the radio.
think maybe I did things out of order or something. Maybe I was supposed to go down in that room first, because that room with the shadow was the first one that I found. But um, I didn't discover the um, the thing that was going on in that room when I was in there. I ended up doing some of the other rooms first, and maybe that's why things are going haywire. So that wasn't my intention. I still have my lighter out, even though I haven't been able to light it in quite some time. Like It's like a safety blanket. I'm going to go buy a Zippo lighter after this game, and I'm going to carry it around with me everywhere. Okay, so we went upstairs, and nothing. So let's go downstairs, and if that doesn't work, I guess we'll go back to the direction we came from. We went in that room that has the candle. Okay, here we go. Something has changed. Closets. You know what's really bugging me here is these are all closets. And you know what that means? This is like the freaking closet boogeyman. Like I kid you not. And literally these are like little kids closets. And the freaking monster like goes to all the kids closets. And what? Steals them and torments them? Or like pretends to be their friend? is a rather large closet with several doors. Dwayne will, will murder you. Jeff. Elon Musk. Rusty key. Charlie, is that your name? Hey, Rusty key. Man, he was going through the walls. First off, that's cheating. I mean, you're a ghost and all, but you're supposed to still follow the rules. And walking through walls. Aight. 
I know this camera thing is annoying. It's annoying me. But, um, you know, if I don't flash the camera, I die a horrible, painful death at the hands of Freddy Fingers. Oh, look. It's a hole full of dead bodies. Mmm. The best kind of holes. Oh, no. Uh, I don't really don't want to go down there. Please don't tell me I have to go down there. Wait. Are you kidding me? I think they want me to go back and get uh, the plank that I pulled out. Or the metal, the wooden thing. Metal, I don't know, I think it's metal, actually. Unless there's another plank or something somewhere. I can grab. Oh, man. For he's a jolly good plank. For he's a jolly good plank. For he's a jolly good plank. I really need just one. I really need just one. I really need just one. See, now they're making me think that I was supposed to grab that thing in the basement. Because they're basically telling me that I need a plank, and I don't have a plank. I mean, is there any way I could go back and grab the plank? I guess that's what we're going to try and do. Maybe now that we've seen that there's a hole, we are now um, in, in the realization that a plank would be useful. And we may go try to grab one. Look, if you're behind me, go away. Okay, um, the plank was which way? This way? I think it was this way. I think. Yes, okay. Let's see if it will let us grab it this time now that we, um, are in are, are we now we are aware that there is in fact a hole that we cannot cross full of dead bodies mind you not just a regular hole but a hole full of dead bodies i mean actually i'm not even sure they're dead some of them look like they were standing i'm gonna be quite honest and no we can't click on it great i feel like that's very rude It's just so rude. I mean, first off, it's a blank and I need it. Second off, they won't let me pick it up. Third off, there's a hole with dead bodies in it that I would really like not like to fall in to. I would really, really, really not like to fall in the hole. I feel like they know that. Okay, I could use a chair. Maybe? A bunny rabbit? I could use the Mother Mary and Baby Jesus. That would work, possibly. A whole mannequin. That's what I should use. A whole mannequin. There's like literally boards all over the place too. Like, There's no like specific board though. Like That's why I felt like that thing was that I pulled out of the floor. Why well, pull that out of the floor if it wasn't for that specific purpose? Um... Put a whole, bring a whole lawnmower down there and I put that over the hole. Hey, crank that bad boy up and throw it in there with the monsters. 
Alright, we, we've got to figure this out. I feel like we're close, but we're just... We're, we're like missing some crucial piece. Just, you know, something to put over top of the hole that would allow us to actually... Um... You know, survive. Okay, I believe we gotta go back down the stairs. Because I found nothing in any of the other areas. Um, which means it's gotta be this way. Whatever it is, whatever we need, it's over here. Alright, this room didn't have anything in it. There was also nothing in the drawer. Let's check over here. Alright, so there's nothing over here. This is where we um, first got into this new area. So, I guess we need to look around this new area. That door is jammed. Alright, this is the one that actually leads to the hole. And as far as I can tell, there's nothing here. This one seems to be a small closet. Nothing in it, really. Yo, that was kind of creepy. And then back here we have a cupboard with nothing in it. Okay. So we've got the first closet. Oh, those are... What the hell I got in my hand? Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't getting me, I came this far. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. Take the picture. He's this, he was this close. He was this close. Alright. Alright, 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 Mr. Man. Maybe the chair. Maybe we can pick up the chair. One of these drawers. No. Okay, there were three ways here. This was the way that leads to the hole. This way leads to the dead end, but you can see the hole. That way leads back. So this way must be the way that the board is. But we went this way. It goes downstairs, and there are some boards down here that look like they could possibly be used. But, like, it won't actually let us pick any of them up. It's unfortunate. I'm like desperately clicking on everything over here. I'm just like, please. Okay, well, let's continue this way. Maybe there's something somewhere. I mean, we've got several boards over here. What's this? I don't have enough room. Is that what it said? You cannot store this item. Um, maybe I'm full. Um, let me try dropping one of the lighters. Let's see what happens. 
Okay. Hold on. Let me try picking back my lighter up. Okay, I just didn't have enough room, I guess. I need to put my camera back out. Okay, I missed the board. Okay, no big deal. Let's move on. It finally saved it, so we don't have to worry about losing progress now. And... Creepy room, creepy room, creepy room. Take the pictures, take the pictures! Are you going to let me use my lighter now, please? No, you're not. You're never going to let me use my lighter. You just won't do it. It's not allowed. It is complete pitch black darkness. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Creepy dude in there. Let's not go that way. There's an arrow that points this way, but there are two other directions. One completely blocked by chairs. The other a stairwell. Cannot see. Ooh. Okay. Um. It's on the other side of the chairs. Okay, I think we managed to go the way that they didn't want us to go. Or maybe the way that they planned for us to go. Oh, no. Um. Okay, let's climb. That's my station wagon. You guys are rude. You know how much I paid for that station wagon? This, uh, brand of Lucy's can go shove it. Yo, are we finally back in the house? After like 10,000 years, we're finally back in the house. Well, what do you know? What do you know, Joe? Okay, let's light a candle. Because, um... And light a candle! Still no light switches on anything in the whole house. It's a good thing we have three lighters. We don't have any... Oh, we still have some pills. Okay. I need to take some pills, actually. Let's go ahead and chug down some, some uh, antipsychotics since we're getting chased around by ghosts. Alright, so I think... Um, well, we have no key for that. I think we should go to Lucy's room. Oh, look. There's scratch marks on the walls. I think we're supposed to follow the scratch marks. Alright. 
Courage. Courage, Ginger Gaming Mentor. For this is not the end, but only the beginning. What the hell? The stool is now in the storage room? What stool? I didn't have a stool. What is it talking about? Is it talking about this? Yo, I got a stool. What can I use a stool for? Can I climb on it and stuff? I have no clue what that is for. There's that's never been there before, and I don't. Ah, okay. Let's go upstairs to Lucy's room. Let's see what kind of craziness is going on. I mean, we could also follow the claw marks, which... Okay, the claw marks go upstairs. Freaking Freddy Krueger style, just scraping the walls. With both hands. The TV's on in here. Who left the TV on? You guys are new. <laughs> okay, claw marks go upstairs. I mean, I don't really see them now, but let's go back in Lucy's room, I guess. I don't know. I don't Some whiskey in there. What is that? Simply Bob. All right. Well, I mean, there's nothing up here. Um, did we check bathroom? I don't think we did. Although there's never been anything in the bathroom. All the doors shut on me. Of course, the second that I say there's never anything in the bathroom. It's jammed. Okay. Um, maybe I did discover something in the bathroom because the doors are jammed and they're not letting me out. Some pills. Oh wait, that's empty. Um, I got some clean and clear. Oh, a fifth lighter. I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to see or do in here. Um. Okay, the light switch came back. That's new. And the water in the bathtub is going up. Am I going to take a bath? Oh, man. Ooh. 
This one's taking a lot out of me, I swear. Doors are still jammed. Um, we have a light switch now, though, so that's nice. Um, nothing in the cabinets. A bunch of pills in the sink. Nothing in the drawers. That's my old lighter. That light switch isn't back, but that one is. That's weird. Why don't I just get in the tub? You know what? The ghost is filling me a nice, hot, steaming bath. You know, he wants me to relax a little bit. He knows the day has been stressful. He's like, you know, hey, uh, I'm sorry, Sarah, for scaring you so badly. You know, so many times. And uh, I'm just going to run you a nice, hot bath, you know, and lock you in the bathroom until you take it. That's going to make you feel all better. And then, you know, then we'll resume the scaring, and we'll resume the knives in the belly, y you know, we can just, we'll do that later. Man, they legit kept me in here just to take a, a bath. Lucy, you want to get in first? Test the water? You know? Go ahead and hop in, Lucy. I think that'd be good. You, you know, you're a little dirty. Just a little... And I think, I think, you know, I think you could use a bath more than me. Oh, yep, let's go ahead and hop in. Why not? You know, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. You ain't gonna take your clothes off or nothing? You just gonna hop in just fully clothed? Or you just been running around naked this whole time and just nobody knew it because you're the only one in the house. Bet you the water turns the blood. What's up, Lucy? Or is that your friend? Is that your is that your friend Bob? Man, you just yanked me right under the water too. Look at Lucy over there just watching TV. She's a ghost, but she's a little kid ghost. Just don't come over here and eat me, alright? I feel like it's rude. Lucy! Supper's ready! Come on up! Yeah, Lucy, supper's ready! Lucy! Lucy! So... We had the mannequin jaw. The mannequin jaw went on a mannequin, right? So my thinking in my head is that we need to find her jaw and give it back to her. Because she's missing her jaw. Her lower jaw. It's got to be it. That's got to be the end of this. Why would she do that? She loved Pico. I don't know. She's never done anything like it. We, uh... I think we should see a professional. <laughs> Lucy killed that poor bird. Bird named Fico. Man, Fico the bird. Rest in peace in chat for Fico. So I'm going to type it in right now. R.I.P. Fico... The bird. No, the burb. The burb. There you go. You heard the diagnostic. She could be in danger. We don't have much of a choice. I know all that. But who the hell prescribes syringes for a child? Couldn't they just give us pills like everyone else? How can a child trust a parent that thrusts needles up their arms? This new doctor clearly doesn't know anything about parenting. Still don't explain how her jaw got ripped off. 
don't want their help anymore. She's only been worsening ever since we went to these doctors. Imaginary friends and all these weird behaviors. She doesn't even call me mom anymore. They're just trying to help. It's not their fault. Even before we sought their help, she had problems. She killed Pico for fuck's sake. Don't you remember? Pico? Or I thought it was Fico. Man, don't be don't be changing up the name on me now. Oh, hello, Baftub. Baftub, Baftub, gonna get a rubber ducky, Baftub, Baftub. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the best bathtub song. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. You know, getting into the bath that the ghost ran me was already bad enough, but now I gotta get in, what, a blood bath? You know what? Fine. Fine. Mmm, delicious. I'll just pretend it's cherry pudding. That didn't sound like cherry pudding. Ooh, that's grody sounded. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure that feels real nice and amazing. Mmm. So amazing. Can you put your head above the water? Cough up your lung there. Come on. Come on. Cough it up. Uh huh. <coughs> Dang. I just noticed that the floor, the ceiling's red. Man, she about to. She about to bust that door down. Oh Lord, she ripped her own jaw out. Man, come on. Mm. Lucy's story is creepy. Lucy's story is creepy as crap. I Lucy's story is very creepy. I don't, I don't know. I don't care what y'all say. Pride. Lucy's story is probably one of the creepiest ones out of the whole lot. And the door is still jammed. You know what? Oh, her jaw. You know, I don't want to put this in my pocket, okay? Can I, like, not put this in my pocket? Thank you. That would, That's absolutely amazing. That's, that's what I was hoping for. For that to not go in my pocket. Alright, so we have completed Lucy's story. Um, we have completed... Recon, Recon, Raycon's story. We have also completed um, uh, Dolores's story, but we have apparently some tapes to go through. So we have two tapes so far. Let's go ahead and pop one of these tapes in this bad boy. All right, let's put the prison tape back in the slot. So according to this, let's see, we got two tapes. There's two tapes in here. If we go by the slots, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six tapes, so we're missing two out of. We're missing two out of the, the tapes. Let's go ahead and put this one in. Greed. Um, it looks like a vent of some type. I don't know where that is. 
Usually the tapes lead you to a location. Man, I could have sworn that was a reflection on the TV and that guy was standing right behind me. I mean, it kind of looks like the study. Um, I don't even remember how to get to the study. Oh, I don't know where that is. I really, really don't. It's, um, I mean, it's obviously a vent and it's up on the ceiling. There is, and that's, that's got to be the study. It has to be because there's books on the wall and that's the only place that there has been like a a bunch of bookshelves and a fancy chair. Crow looked like he was standing on the chair. All right, I don't. I don't think I'm going to get any more information from that. I really don't know. I guess we don't technically need the. Um, the camera out anymore because hopefully. Freddy Krueger hands isn't chasing us around anymore. Um, that spot is bigger than the last time. Definitely bigger. Most assuredly. Large-esque in size. Um, I mean, this is the storage room. I think we don't need to go in there. Let's go ahead and flick all the switches, turn on all the lights. I don't see why not. Because the darkness terrifies my soul. You guys like this game? Because this game's scary. That's what I got to say about this game. I do not know how to get to this um, this vent. Like I really don't. So. See, I'm thinking downstairs uh, because number one, it's a vent, it's high up. Number two, it's it's like looking down. Number three, um, I don't know, it's just a hunch. This is the bathroom, right? Yeah, this is the bathroom. Um, fresh paint on the wall? Always with the creepiness. <sighs> so creepy. Why so much creep? So much creep. So much creep. Why so much creep? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, okay, let's go. Come on. I don't. I don't want to go in here, but let's go. And I get to play this game with the light on because, you know, I'm using a green screen and you can't use a green screen without lights. Uh, I, I could imagine playing this in the dark. I think I'd freak out. 
But I mean, that, that would be the preferred way of playing it. Oh, hello, gun. Aim the gun at my head? <sighs> okay, sure. Why not? It's just a video game. You bet not. You bet not. Oh, Lord, he doing it. Why am I doing this? Uh, <laughs> I got an achievement? What is going on here? That's the storage room. That's the confessional area. Ooh. It seems familiar. Like I remember this from like the Rakan episode. Or chapter. And he like and he walked really slowly and like squished. Yeah, yeah. This is from the Rakan chapter. Why do I want to... I don't want to play the Rakan chapter again. Ugh. Man, I got a ripped off jaw, a old creepy mirror, and, a, 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 and just an eyeball. Man, y'all just... Y'all doing too much with these eyeballs and jank. I want to go this way. I always gotta flick the light switches to see if they work. My sanity is waning. Alright, well, I don't know if I did this tape wrong or if that was just the desired result. I, I really don't. So let's go ahead and take this tape out for a second. Um. Let's put the greed tape in the slot. Let's go ahead and slot the pride tape. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> I look like some sort of box. A laboratory. I see a microscope, a computer, some uh, stools. I don't think that's in the house, though. I've never seen anything like that in the house. Unless maybe that's in the garage. <sighs> but that, no, I, I, def I definitely would have seen a computer in the garage. Your soul, your soul. That was, um, that was in Rakan's chapter, wasn't it? Or Raycon? I don't get it. Like, I feel like, um, I'm really not sure about this one. It 
So we've gotten four out of the six tapes. Hmm. So the tapes seem to be like extra. Uh, maybe like little bits and pieces of the story. The only place we haven't checked um, for either of the tapes is upstairs, really. In the... Um, and then things are getting huge. Um, in the attic. We didn't check in the attic for either of the tapes. I was just thinking about that. Um... There hasn't been a lot, like a super large amount of stuff in the attic, but at the same time, you know, these tapes are special, I guess. And that, whatever that box was, it did look like old and like, um, had like a cool symbol on it, which kind of made me think maybe it was like a box up in the attic. Because I really don't know. I'm just guessing. Kind of wish we had a candle. Definitely thought, you know, up here, could have been up here. Maybe the tape needs to be in the VHS player while you go look for the stuff, perhaps. Let's try that. Let's, um, let's take the, um, I guess we'll do the pride tape. Let's try the pride tape. Oh, um. You found a key with an Omega symbol attached to it, and it was on a pedestal with a light and a glass of water? Uh, Omega. What is Omega? Omega is the big. Well, no. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. So Omega would be the end. Um. But where would the door be? Oops. Mega. Hmm. This game got me, like, just all over the place with my brain. The Omega Key. What do you guys think the Omega Key is?
try to talk with you guys in chat. Of course, some of you guys might be talking, you know, on TV. So, probably can't see the chat, but there is a chat. So, Alright, let's stand back here by the, uh, the, the lights while we're, we're here. And take a look at our lovely, uh, trinkets. Mm -hmm. So all that's left, according to, because um, I'm trying, I'm trying not to look anything up, like, but I'm trying to get an idea of like how far we have left in the game. Um, and according to this, um, you know, there's six tapes. Six tapes have different things. We've done like two of the tapes, I think, or maybe three. I'm not sure. And then um, apparently there's a, an Omega key. Which we just found. I mean, I don't know what the Omega key even opens. Maybe the Omega key has something to do with the tapes. Maybe we did find what we were supposed to find, and the Omega key was one of the items that we were supposed to find. Um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a thought. So then maybe the Omega key is something that we need to do the tape, or one of the tapes. I don't know which one. Um... In that case, I guess we need to look around and see if we can find a door to use the Omega key on. And why is this? It's so dark for some reason. Like, super, super dark. Like, see, the, when I saw the stool, it was kind of making me think that it was in here. Because this is the only place that I've seen a stool. I mean, this is the, um... Maybe we did this wrong. We weren't supposed to kill ourselves, I guess. Try this again. Oh, there's a bullet missing. Oh, um. Okay, let's aim it at our head again. Let's see what happens uh, this time, though, if we don't shoot ourselves and we drop it at the end. Okay, we're going to drop it. But the fact that a bullet is missing, you know what it almost makes me think? That we need to shoot ourselves in the head six times. 
Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. The because because the fact that there's a bullet missing makes me think this is something we're supposed to do repeatedly until the gun is empty. And then once the gun is empty, then what? So loud, too. That's the electrical room. Um, that's the freezer room. I mean, this is some random hallway in the house. That's the storage room. That's the uh, confessional area, prayer prayer room. And here we go, we wake up again. In the muck. And we're back. We went in here, right? And then it was right around the corner. Mm -hmm, there it is. I mean, if there's not another bullet missing, then we're just going to assume that that's not it. But if there is another bullet missing, then I think we're going to do this until the gun's empty. Because I think maybe that's what they want you to do. Because otherwise... Why show you the bullets? Why show you the fact that two are missing? I feel like that's important. They wouldn't show you the two are missing if it wasn't important. Alright, so we're going to have to blow our brains out. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit because that's loud. Even though it's just a fake gun and it's in a video game, I don't like it. I mean, blowing people's brains out, Jank. That's, that's rude. It's rude! Hey, there's a tape there. It showed me one of the tapes. We can go get that real quick. It's sitting on the, um... It's sitting on the chair in the bedroom. See, I, I was half not, not going to pay attention to that because I thought, in my mind, I was thinking it was just going to show me the same thing. But it's not showing me the same thing every single time. It seems like it might be, but it's not. Alright, so let's go run up to that room real quick, grab the uh, tape. I wonder what tape that is. It's not there. What? It was there in the... Ooh, another lighter. Maybe? Okay, well that's kind of rude. Why show me a chair with the thing sitting on if it's not in there? It's a little rude. Hmm. 
Alright, let's go blow our brains out again. So we've done three out of six. This will be the fourth time. Man, this house has more back rooms and in between the walls and trap doors and secret hiding places and doors with no door or rooms with no doors on them. And All right, three bullets out of uh, six. Come on, you take so long, and I'm just trying to blow my head off six times. Alright, this time it's showing me a hallway. Um, I don't know what that is. Another tape. Attrition. Okay, but last time I went to the place where the tape was, it wasn't there. And that that's really makes me upset. Come on, hobble forward. Got my dual lighters. Okay, so this showed this area. Alright, well the tape is there this time. Affliction. And another lighter and a candle. Maybe the other tape will be there this time. I don't know. It wasn't there. Or maybe that particular tape I've already gotten. It could be. Six bullets. Six tapes. Each bullet leads you to a specific tape. I already have found a certain number of the tapes. So that would explain why some of the bullets are not leading me to the tapes and some of them are using my brain meats well blowing my brain meats out all right so we found another tape let's put the tape in here let's see what it does real quick before we blow our brains out again <coughs> Oh, what is that? That's the eyeball, I think. A little like that. When I climbed through the eyeball in uh, Rakan's story. It's definitely a big door. A chair. It kind of looked like the mirror room to me. That looked like the mirror room. Let's go check the mirror room. What about the mirror room? Like, why would it show the mirror room if it's not important? We got a door here that won't open. Be slamming. Always be slamming stuff.
Hmm. Affliction. Oh, hold on. That's seven slots, not six. Be jumping over trash and making me uh, antsy because I'm walking over trash. We need some oh pills. Nice. I'll say we need some pills, and we found some pills. Pills. Time to go blow our brains out one more time. I really don't know what happens when you use up all six bullets, and uh, we're gonna find out though. Hollow Knight, you got my back, right? Two more bullets. See, part of me thought was thinking that maybe this whole gun thing was a way for you to um, see what you were stuck on, but then again, it was showing me where tapes were that I had already grabbed. So I can only assume that that means that it's not. It must be to find the locations of the tapes. So here's our main hallway. There's um, going into the bedroom. There's the bedroom, and there's the tape on the chair. And it's pointing us to the tape on the chair. I'm pretty sure that tape said Affliction. Do we already have the Affliction tape? I guess we'll go check and make sure, but... Um, we're running out of bullets. We only got one bullet left. I wonder what happens when we use a bullet on our head and when we when we try to shoot ourselves in the head and we don't have a bullet. See? Using my brain meats here. Brain meats. Why well, like most of these light switches only turn on like one light. It really bothers me. Like, who has a light switch that only turns on one light and that's it? And like, and yeah, even when there's like six other lights nearby, that's all it turns on is that one light. I mean, granted, if it's like an outside light or something, yeah, you know. Spares. It's a good thing I have like five lighters. Yeah, I don't get it. This one's not there. Let me go downstairs and check and see if I can read the names. Because I'm like 99% certain that tape said Affliction on it. Let's see if I already have the Affliction tape. Yes, we already have Affliction. We have Affliction, Prison, Pride, Negligence, and Greed. Look, Ghost Elise. Quit it. Alright, here we go. Last bullet. What do y'all think is going to happen when I shoot myself with that last bullet? I'm a little worried. There's there's a small part of me that uh, thinks that maybe that it'll, it'll like end the game if I shoot myself in the head all six times, and that'll just be game over. Yeah.
game over, man. Game over. It just says game over, deletes my save file, and then uninstalls the game. Last bullet, suckers. What are you showing me now? Same thing. Same tape. A tape that's not there. And it says affliction. I have the affliction tape. Why are you showing me the affliction tape? All right, so now the moment of truth is here. We go back down in there. We see what happens when we pull the trigger on ourselves with no bullets. All right, so that's the last and final step. Oh, look, on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's written on the floor. Sweet. So it's keeping track of how many times I've shot myself in the head, too. Warning the game could not save. Okay, we'll hit, pick a slot, any slot. Alright, so if this doesn't do anything, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, maybe I'll move on to the next tape. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and climb through here and see what happens with the uh, the gun. It's replaced by a shotgun, and you shoot yourself with shells. Or is it refilled? No, it's not refilled. There's no no bullets in it now. So go ahead. Put it to your head, buddy. Watch it fire a magical ghost bullet. <sighs> Okay, we're getting something. What is our apple? I'm at the bottom of a well. I mean, that's kind of cool. going at all, but I mean Can I see anything in the darkness? It doesn't let me use my inventory. Um I'm assuming that the apple is basically the center, right? At least it seems to be the center. Even if you look at the water, the water doesn't seem to be even touching the apple. What? I guess that was the end. See, I was worried about that. I was worried that if maybe you shot yourself in the head seven times, it just ended the game. Well, dang. Um, at least I got my lighter and my pills and an apple. It's my Y'all can't bother me no more because I'm dead. Got that sad piano music. Well, I mean, I'd like to do the um, the tapes, but like, I feel like the tapes are a whole lot. Like, they're each individually 
like set up in their own little stories and um, you gotta find the locations I mean I guess I could look up the locations of the tapes but I, I didn't want to look up anything in this game to be honest I was trying to get everything done you know without looking it up um, which is why I got stuck a couple times but Well, bye. We're all a little mad inside. To my cats, Curdy and Simon, meow. Famous last words. I hope this game is scary. I have a bad feeling about this. Glad to be part of a kickstarting visage. I always wanted to be part of a horror game. Now I can finally say I am. Everyone's dreams need to come true. Let them shine so we can all see. I've never been so scared to open a door in my life. Oh, look. Hi, multiplier. Markiplier. <laughs> Markiplier's name is in there. Ryan Seymour. Micka Snell. Rivek. Let me out of the void. Let me in! Thank you for playing Visage. Well, dang. Okay. That was cool. And I'm just stuck here, huh? I can't save it. So... Can I at least pick up my apple now? I would like to eat it. Well, this was a really cool game. Um, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. Lucy's story was by far the creepiest and the scariest, and I did not like it at all because it scared me. And um, I really did like Dolores' story. Dolores' story was quite interesting. Um, a little crazy woman looking for her baby thing, and then, and then on top of that, this, um, there was the psychiatrist, you know, trying to help her get better, and then, then she killed the psychiatrist, and I, I don't even. All sad endings. All sad endings. I was really hoping I was going to be able to give Lucy back her jaw, but um, I guess that's not going to happen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think that's going to be the end for Visage, unless I want to go back in and get these tapes, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, I'm thinking about playing Alan Wake. Um, I think that'd be a pretty cool one. Um, I don't really know. I mean, these horror games are fun. I'm probably going to finish Cyber Shadow. Uh, maybe play a little bit more Mega Man. Um, I'll do that during the daytime, you know. Horror games are best left for After Dark. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, it's been fun. And... Um, Tune in next time. I'm sure we're going to have something something else fun. My girlfriend, um, Gina, she has a lot of really good suggestions for horror games. She loves horror games. And um, I'm sure she'll come up with something amazing like she always does. In fact, that's my nickname for her. Amazing. 